All right, hey, how's it going, guys? I uh, just want to make a quick video to introduce myself. I'm Isaac uh, Cola Vecchio. The Cola Creative is a shortened version of my last name. Um, and I just wanted to introduce myself because if you're watching this, it's because you're getting married, I presume, or um, you're my mom and you just watch all the videos <laughs> that I put out. Um, but if you're in the wedding world, um, and looking for a videographer, you've probably stumbled upon me through Google or Wedding Wire or The Knot or word of mouth or you're my friend and I know you and you're wanting me to film your wedding. Um, so I thought I'd introduce myself and just answer some of the most frequently asked questions through video format because I'm a videographer and this is much more personal than me sending an email. And also, I send the same email like every day, and so I figured I would just send a link to YouTube, and um, this would be a win, 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 win for everyone involved. Um, so I'm Isaac, I already said that, and I'm married. I have a wonderful wife, her name is Sarah Joy, and I have a boy and a girl and another boy on the way, um, which I think this is the first time I've announced that to the internet, so. Um, that's that is happening so I have a four-year-old a two-year-old and a zero year old and I'm here in my in my home office this is where all the magic happens um, the kids are downstairs so if you hear chaos um, that's just because that's life and they're playing with blocks or wrestling or you know whatever they do um, so wedding stuff wedding stuff my philosophy people ask me what my philosophy is and um, I've been doing this for a couple years in the wedding world and then for years before that I worked for a church and um, did all their media, internet, video things. Um, but my philosophy for weddings specifically is I try to be low key. Like you don't want the paparazzi to show up at your wedding and like be like kiss here, do this, do that, wait can you redo? Uh, the first look because I wasn't recording or <laughs> whatever hey mom will you hug and pretend like you guys are happy um, I try to capture the moments as they happen I guess you call it documentary style um, but I also will step in um, and do a few posing here and here and there if it's needed but usually the photographer I let kind of lead because you don't want two different people uh, telling you what to do all day long. So I'll kind of hang back and record, and if the photographer's doing a great job, I don't usually have to do much at all. If the photographer's not doing a great job, I'll ask you to do a few things just to get um, some, uh, some of the feels. Um, and usually I'll do, like the edit will be chronological, so um, a drone shot of the facility usually is how it opens up. Um, and I always try to do drone if uh, the facility allows it, if we're not in like a military restricted zone. And if it's not raining, I'll get up there and fly around a little bit. Um, I usually try to show up a little bit early before anything's happening and kind of survey the land. It helps to do it from above. Um, so drone shot, getting ready, um, and then I'll try to mix in some audio and vows or if you guys wrote letters to each other you can read those and i'll mix it in and then just kind of goes through the flow of the day um and then usually couples like to do kind of a photo shoot one-on-one -on -one session um and i'll hang hang a hang along tag along tag along for that um and i'll mix in kind of the slow motion romantical cinematic shots within the documentary style Shoot, so that's kind of my philosophy. Um, I try to let you guys be you and not interfere too much and just document the day. Uh, because it's it's your day, it's not my day. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to be selfish. <laughs> I'm not trying to get what I need out of you. I'm trying to deliver a gift to you um, of your day. And so that's my philosophy. Um, let's see, the booking process, people like to know about that. So. I use HoneyBook for all of my booking, so I'll do payments through there, uh, contracts through there, communication goes through there. Um, if you fill out a questionnaire already, it's through there. And so I try to make it easy for you guys. And I was doing it just with Word docs before and it was confusing and so 
I bit the bullet and I paid for HoneyBook because I wanted to serve my people, my clients. I want to serve you guys well. Um, and so I do, at the time of the booking, I'll do half down, whatever your package is. I'll talk about those in a second. And then I'll do the rest um, of the payment before the wedding, a couple weeks before the wedding. And we can set that up to be auto pay. We can break it up into four installments if you want. I have some people booking years plus out, and so we just do like quarterly. And then you just don't even feel it. It's just, uh, just takes it out of your account. <laughs> um, and so the packages, let's talk packages. So my base package is eight hours of coverage on the wedding day. And right now for 2020, that's $2,000. Um, and that includes the five to 10 minute edit, uh, all of my stuff. There's no, there's no difference what I do. I bring everything I have and I do it all for eight hours for that base price. Um, the only additions or price differences are if you want less hours on the day, it's minus $100 per hour. If you want more hours on the day, it's plus $100 per hour. So if you want me filming till two in the morning, your dance party, I'll be there. It just costs a little bit extra. Um, and then the other additions are if you want the full ceremony edited, I do a ceremony and speeches uh, full length edit so you can watch the whole thing again. Uh, right now that's $500 for both. And then if you want the raw footage or if you want extra SD cards or whatever, um, those are also additional charges. And you can see all that, there's a PDF, I'll link it um, in the YouTube and it's on my website and it's everywhere. And I'll send it to you in an email if, if you can't find it. <laughs> um, so those are the packages. We talked about booking, we talked about my philosophy, let's talk about my gear, the gear. I don't know, some people like to talk about gear, I like to talk about gear. I watch YouTube videos about gear uh, because the story is the biggest thing and whatever, but also the gear is the most fun. So I shoot mostly with Canon stuff, right now I'm shooting on an EOS R and a wide angle lens you can tell because when my hands go at it they look crazy. Um, and I'll shoot my main camera though right now is a Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Uh, it just does video and I'm trying that out this year and it's a lot of fun. So I have my rig actually right here. So this beast is usually what I'll start out with and I have my battery pack, my monitor so I can see really well what's going on, my lens, handle, this whole thing. Um, and so I'll just kind of hang out like this during the wedding. And uh, try not to be like, this looks pretty intimidating, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> I just try to hide most of it so it's not so scary. Um, and so I shoot with this. And then during the ceremony, I'll set this up in the back with a zoom lens and then I'll walk around with my uh, Canon camera and kind of float around. So I'll shoot two angles during the ceremony. Um, usually I'll shoot two during speeches. I'll have one set up just recording and then the other one getting close-ups, the emotions, the facial stuff, the tears from your dad during the, during the speech. Um, and I also record audio during ceremony and if you guys do a first look, I'll try to mic up the groom so you can hear what he says when he sees the bride for the first time. It's a magical moment. Um, and what else do I do? I got my drone, I shoot with a DJI Mavic Air right now, but they're coming out with new stuff and it's very tempting, so I might be rolling into your wedding with a new drone. Uh, I can't help myself. So I try to keep on the cutting edge of technology and gear, um, and so it just looks good. I want it to look good. I've got nice lenses and all the things you need to make a beautiful wedding video. <sighs> Let me think. This is, uh, are you still watching? Are you interested still? <laughs> I have notes. Let me check. I think that's it. Uh, my main goal for you is to deliver a beautiful video, a gift that will help strengthen your marriage through the years so you can remember your first love 
And I, I'm also very flexible. So uh, Cola Creative is just this, just me here with my gear and my computer. And so if you need anything, if the price doesn't seem quite right to you, just shoot me a message and we'll talk. Um, we'll make a custom deal for you. And I'm looking forward to working with you. And if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email or a text or whatever you need, a phone call. Some people still make phone calls. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I look forward to hearing more from you and joining you on your big day. It's a lot of fun. I love shooting weddings. I also shoot real estate and no offense to real estate, but it's just not as fun as a wedding. Houses are boring. People, people getting married. That's the, this is the best. I, this is the best job in the world. So love what I do. Looking forward to working with you. I'm rambling on now. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.